Mehdi was a Muslim. He was on a business trip in Malaysia, and he was invited to church. And Mehdi, that would begin a very interesting process. Before we get to how you came to Jesus, you grew up in Iran. Tell me about your life there. Well, I grew up as a normal uh, Muslim uh, man, you know, in a Muslim family, in a Muslim country. But uh, I, I was born uh, in a city near of uh, where Abraham was born, Ur of Chaldea, mm. just a few hours away, which is in the border of Iraq and Iran. But uh, due to the, uh, uh, the war of Iran and Iraq, so uh, we have to flee the city and go to the capital of Iran. And then uh, uh, I grew up as a normal uh, Muslim, but I really loved Quran and <clears throat> especially reciting Quran. Well, that's very big in the yeah. uh, many Muslim countries yeah. like Iran. Yeah, that's right. So I began to recite uh, behind a closed door. My mom and dad doesn't know. My family doesn't know. How, why, would that, why would you do that behind closed doors? I mean, Muslim family, Muslim country? So uh, not closed door in the house, you know, that, that I was feeling ashamed that, you know, really? people, uh, my mom and dad, oh, what are you doing? So because you have to shout, you have to... Uh, raise your voice when you recite the Quran. Oh, okay. Right. So, but, so be, when I recite the Quran, then I began to also memorize the Quran. And then uh, uh, it's interesting when from the early childhood, I was saying something against Christian that I did not know. Beginning of every... Uh, chapter of Quran, it says, uh, Lam yalad wa lam yulad. It means he, he doesn't beget and he doesn't have a son, mm. not knowing that I was against Christian. But anyhow, I just grew up as a normal man and then uh, study and then uh, end up being in uh, United Arab Emirates with a family business. Did, did you have any connection with Christians at that time? No, no, no not uh, no connection at all. Uh, I just knew that Jesus is a prophet because uh, they taught us mm -hmm. that Jesus is a prophet. But it's interestingly, they also taught us that Jesus will come back to judge the world. But with someone whose name is my name, Mehdi, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Judge the word, according to the Shia yeah, Muslim, yeah. but Sony doesn't believe that. <laughs> but uh, uh, my, my journey is interesting, you know, but uh, when I was in Dubai, I have to go to, back to Malaysia for a business trip. And what kind of business were you in? It's just a family business. My brother started to import and export some uh, goods, you know, into Dubai and, you know, vice versa. And then I have to stay in Malaysia for three months. And then my brother left me uh, with a lady, Malay Indian. I was not married yet. That was in 1998. And I was accidentally uh, went to the church. Accidentally? Yeah. Well, I, from what I understood, it was she was kind of saying, hey, you got to come to church. You don't want to offend. Yeah. So you end up in going to church. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I end up going to the church. And then I did not have any clue that I will live in Canada. No clue at all. But interestingly, uh, the guy that they were there, they were uh, husband and wife, mid 60s, 70s from Canada. Mm -hmm. They were a guest pastor in Malaysia. Right, yeah. And then at the end of the service, my friend, the lady friend said, would you like to ask these guys, you know, to pray for you and stuff like that. And then I approached, I was not good in English during that time, so very slow and stuff. But uh, these guys came and they prayed for me. But they prayed, they prophesied, in a sense. Uh, this is my experience I found with Muslim people here in Canada, and I have many friends from Muslim backgrounds, mm -hmm. is that when you ask, can I pray for you? They're very receptive. That's right. Yeah. And so you were receptive. Yeah, I think uh, no one rejects prayer. No one rejects prayer. So in that moment, uh, they said, uh, I, I said, okay, uh, I believe in Jesus Christ as a prophet because they asked me if, it, if you believe in Jesus. I said, I believe him as a prophet. So, okay, can we pray for you? They prayed for me. They said, you will go back to your own country, but you will not stay there. You go to an Arab country. We pray that God will meet you there in that Arab country. You're in this church. This Canadian pastor 
he's a guest pastor, is praying for you, mm -hmm. saying you're going to go to an Arab country. Hey, yeah. What were you thinking? Like, what's this guy talking about? No, I, uh, I just ignore those words. I ignored it uh, till the time that I met a Muslim who became a Christian in Dubai, in, in the United Arab Emirates. And uh, not knowingly, I was also carrying a Bible because a lady in Malaysia gave me that gift. So I don't want to break her heart. I took the Bible, but it was an English Bible. So I started reading the Bible because I want to learn English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not knowing about the Bible, learning English. But she also gave me a tape, a recording tape from a pastor, African pastor. And the, the name of the sermon was Living Your La Past Behind. Mm. And then I was listening to that tape all over again to learn English. So was it a spiritual journey as far as you knew? Yeah. You just learned English. Yeah, that's right. So I brought the Bible, not the Bible, I brought the tape with me from my own country to an Arab country, and I was listening to it until the time that I met a lady. Uh, I became friends, and then eventually we got married. She was uh, uh, from Philippines yeah. and Catholic, Catholic background, yeah. Catholic background, and uh, uh, my family were against uh, this marriage because uh, this is the first time happening in our family history that you know someone's getting married with uh, non-Muslim. And then uh, uh, during this course of time, uh, they were against it because they thought that uh, uh, Lucille, my wife, uh, made me a Christian, but it was vice versa. She was, we'd say, nominal Christian? Nominal Catholic. Didn't really no. believe, yeah. Yeah, doesn't have any. I mean, many of our Catholic friends have a strong faith, but yeah. she was nominal. Yeah, she was nominal, not going to the church and stuff. But uh, we, we met a couple, uh, Mark and Malou, and Mark was a Muslim background, atheist, and then become Christian. And then Malou also was Catholic and become Christian, you know. And then both of them... Uh, uh, both of them actually invited us to their house and then serving us food and stuff. And then when I came to know that Mark is a Christian and he used to be a Muslim, then I uh, become furious, you know, angry that why he became Christian. So I have to be, go and study Islam and, you know, uh, uh, research and ask the mullahs and imam. And during that time, I was also in a Shia Muslim. You, uh, in a certain time, you go to a mosque and then they call it Ashura. And then you go there and then to lead some people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're bringing them to yes. the mosque. Yeah. Yeah. So I was in the mosque leading 50, 60 people and they are beating themselves for a dead imam, you know. Wow. And, and so you eventually, though, after studying and maybe comparing the Bible to the Quran, you right. came to some conclusions that yes. changed your life. Yeah, that's right. So they gave me a Jesus movie based on Book of Luke. Uh, I watched the movie over and over again, and every time I watched, I cry. And then I start reading the Bible because my intention was to bring Mark to back to Islam. It took me three months. Oh, that is struggle because uh, uh, the moment I go to Mark's house, there is an atmosphere, which I can call it right now, is a love atmosphere that zip my mouth that I can't talk to Mark anymore regarding, you know, Islam and Christianity and stuff. But he was talking to me and he was praying for me. And then long story short, uh, he brought his pastor to our house, and then the pastor, I said to the pastor, I mean, I'm, I'm confused, you know, I can't reject Islam, I can't reject uh, Christianity, I can't deny Christianity as well, so I will accept both of both religions, because they talk about God and yeah. stuff. And he said, no, it should be one, you know, because there is contradiction, you know, between these two. So he said, why don't you pray? And then, uh, I said, okay, uh, in Islam we pray five times a day. Is a, you have to memorize the prayer. 
you know, you can talk to God in your own language. It's an Arabic prayer. Every Muslim knows that they have to memorize that Arabic prayer. And then uh, I close my prayer. I look at the ceiling. I said, in my own language, I said, God, show me the truth. Show me the truth. I decided not to pray after two days, but I came back again. I came back to my Muslim prayer. I finished my prayer. Uh, my wife just going uh, to bed, you know, with her own prayer and stuff. So uh, two different uh, 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 perspectives in, in the house, living there. And then uh, uh, I prayed the same prayer. I said, God, show me the truth. I want to know the truth. Which one is the truth? I, I said, God, I'm reading the Bible. I can't deny this. Is, this is the love of God in it. Mm. And I can't deny my, my Islamic faith as well. I grew up in that. You were torn. Yeah, I grew up in that. And then I was, I was, I have to deal with the rejection, the fear of rejection. The fear of rejection from the family, from the government, losing friends and stuff to follow one man who worth everything in the world. I have to deal with that battle. I said, God, show me the truth. And then I went to sleep and then I had a dream. And when I woke up uh, from that dream, I felt the presence of the Lord behind me, pushing me forward, saying, Mehdi, go forward and do not look back. And you have not turned back since. I have not turned back. You're pastoring now. Yes. You're leading people to Jesus. That's right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. Uh, it's inspiring. You know, God is doing amazing things in the Muslim world, right. uh, in your country, Iran. It's, yeah. it's phenomenal what we're seeing. And again, thank you for sharing your story. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>